In this video, we are going to show you how to patch your fixtures on the Enigma M4 console. In order to control your lighting fixtures, you will first have to let the controller know what kind of fixture you have and what the addresses are. To begin patching, you will select the patch function from this function section. Then select patch new fixture from the on-screen menu. The console has two libraries, the system library and the user library. You can toggle between them by pressing the soft button labeled user library. The system library seen here contains a list of fixture profiles from different manufacturers that you can select from. You can use the scroll bar or press keyboard to search by name. Once you find the manufacturer you are looking for, in our case, Blizzard, because we're the best, you will select it and then press Confirm. A list of the available models and channel modes will now be listed on the screen. We will select the HypnoBeam fixture and you will see the channel table appear on the right hand side of the screen. After you have chosen your fixture to patch, press the confirm button to bring up a dialog box in which you will address the fixture. Here you will select which universe you want, A or B, which correspond to the DMX outputs on the back of the console, and or ArtNet universes 1 and 2. C and D are only accessible through ArtNet and correspond with ArtNet universes 3 and 4. Next, select the starting address, which for us is 134. Choose a number for your fixture, we will use one, and enter the number of sequential fixtures you want to patch, which we have six of them. So we will type in six. The last option you will see here is to lo load the default preset for the fixture. This enables you to discard all the defaults written into the fixture profile and have all DMX addresses returned to zero instead of the value specified in the profile. For most users, you will want to keep this box checked. After pressing confirm, you will see that your fixtures have been patched. If you have more fixtures to patch, just press return and continue patching. When you go to add more fixtures into your show, you will notice that you will be unable to patch to any DMX addresses that have already been used, which will be highlighted in red. When done, press the exit button to return to the patch screen. Now, Let's say you only have a single dimmer channel you wish to patch. The process is the same, only this time press Patch Dimmer. If you patch like we did before, you will get one channel per dimmer. However, if you wish to assign multiple dimmers to a single channel, you will simply enter the DMX information and channel number, which for demonstration purposes here, we will call seven. Then quantity one and press confirm. You will see that there is now a single dimmer patched to channel 7. To assign another dimmer to 7, you will see that 7 is now highlighted in green. This indicates that you can continue patching a dimmer to this channel as many times as you want. Just select the address for the next dimmer and press confirm. When complete, press exit. When done, exit to the initial patch setup window. From this screen, you have the options to swap pan and tilt, invert pan, invert tilt, and invert dimmer. To add these functions to a group of fixtures, select multiple fixtures before pressing the option you choose. Finally, to remove a fixture, press on the fixtures you want to delete, and then press unpatch. This is permanent and will delete all programming for that fixture, so make sure you have a backed up file before unpatching any fixtures.